Hello, this is George Lees, uh, working on a Sunday, shamefully, uh, outside the Scottish Parliament building, which is called the Parlour Maid, because we are slaves to Westminster still. I've explained the Albion and the Albany labels to you in recent videos, that is, the pretenders to the English throne. Yeah, never have we had a Scottish King and Queen who's allowed to reign at liberty from the tyrants in the south. Okay, and here we've got now all of the uptake of the uh, Gaelic language so that they can continue to make a mockery of the democracy that is supposed to come out of here. The Alba Lake is adjacent to the Vatican in Rome and that is the Vatican's symbol, that is the cross keys icon for the Cluny Abbey which was the largest church in the world before the Vatican in Rome was built. Do you get it? That is Alex Salmon's Salomon Rothschild's Saltire Cross, yeah? For the Cluny Abbey in Clermont-Ferrand where World War I was started from uh, and I revealed in the last video I made that the uh, stammering king who declared war in 1939 was the leading Freemason in our country. Yet he uh, he was George the Sixth, the uh, the uh, chief Freemason in our land, right across even into Ireland, which was affiliated to Germany in much of the war. Uh, and that, sadly, is the icon for the global Freemasons. It is the swastika. You can see that there's a little niche in the windmill blade there that means that it's slightly folded over and at right angles like the swastika for Hitler Rothschild. Okay, that icon is also the St Andrew's Cross. It's all over the ceiling of this parliament building and it's a massive joke about the same uh, swastika that Hitler Rothschild had, yeah, he was trained in Britain with Stalin and all of the world leaders are uh, massive jokes about the gods in the heavens and all of them having been rejected now and replaced by Jesus, which is the icon for Christianity all through world history. This is all over the ceiling of that building, okay? Uh, and if you tried to make a video like this indoors, uh, they would have you banged out because I've got the protest things around my neck. Here are the things that the Scottish Government have been made privy to in the last few years. Okay, there is the crimes of Malcolm Rifkind and John Anthony Chilcott uh, and the massive Cairn energy scams that involve Prime Minister David Kelly, uh, it's Prime Minister uh, David Cameron uh, and the Armstead Rack scandal. Uh, Chilcott was Tony Blair's Foreign Secretary in 2002, yet when he interlocked with Malcolm Rifkind for profit uh, in the companies called uh, Abraxa that were also run out of Edinburgh, that is in uh, Lothian Road in Edinburgh, then they moved it to Earl Grey Street. <laughs> yeah, it's, and all of those documents have signatures from all over the country because I lobby like crazy. Yeah, and I tell everybody the stories about how that is Arnott Manderson that was created in the year of the referendum. Sorry, that is Arnott Manderson that was created in the year of the referendum to sell Scotland's freedom. Uh, that is Sheriff John Harley, who was the first sheriff on my case, which is a civil case involving a woman from Chipping Norton, who are the drinking club for Jeremy Clarkson, uh, Matthew Freud, uh, and his wife Elizabeth Murdoch, who's now Elizabeth Freud. It is a massive unelected cabal, and all of them share that Freemasonic joke right through World War I and World War II. Uh, there is the defrauding in this city of Edinburgh by Sarsar Rothschild uh, Nikolaevich Romanov, 
Yet that is the Gorgi Road frauds that meant that the whole of the Hearts Football Club was asset stripped and the whole of Lithuania was asset stripped with it. And that's why Scotland are playing Lithuania in the World Cup last night and they almost were shamefully beaten. A one goal in the last three minutes that kept them in contention for the bimbos that watch the sport all of the time. Okay, that is the execution of uh, William Wallace, yeah, with the midgets on stage to show that everything now is so politically correct <laughs> that we dare not expose that the Freemasons used the swastika as their global icon right up to 1939 when the stammering king is their boss, yeah, and he wins the Oscar in Hollywood, and this is the Holyrood joke about the constitutional monarchy with the Queen in that residence over there uh, she's illegitimate now that's the Windsor bloodline for 165 years yet yeah, since all of Queen Victoria's bastards were born to the Rothschild family who sired them okay there are the incident numbers for me reporting everything to the police in Kelso that's incident number 410 on the 5th of December 2014 just before the Scottish Borders Council uh, sectioned me for revealing all of the political truths that is the crimes of the doctors all across Britain who receive 40% of their £100,000 basic salary uh, for giving too many drugs to their patients called polypharmacy uh, and that is the letter on me being scammed out of my meeting to get divorce advice yeah, by Scottish Borders Council, uh, Kyrie Hislop, homeless prevention officer in the domestic violence sector. My wife confirmed in front of a witness from the Lothian region last week that I had never ever been violent to her in all of my married life but when she was initiating the proceedings, she uh, did claim that I was a menace to her safety. I was not allowed to know where my own children live. There is me reporting the Trident scandal, yeah, which is also incident 410 in Kelso Police Station, to Justice Secretary Michael Matheson, the MP, MSP from Falkirk, uh, where uh, uh, the... Uh, my relatives lived and all of the uh, reporting that I've done yeah, to him has been acknowledged. There's ministerial correspondence unit, uh, the letter is their reference, it has no number, uh, sorry, their reference is 2014 0038670 signed 15th December 2014 from Michael Matheson, MSP. Okay, there are the reports that I've made and all the director numbers for Frederick Anderson Goodwin, the banker who asset stripped the RBS here in the city of Edinburgh and was stripped only of his title and knighthood. He has never been brought to justice and there are all the people that interlock with him. Uh, Mr. Uh, John Dawson, the head of the Kelso Chronicle at that time, uh, we've got uh, John Robertson Wright, the trillionaire from the HSBC Bank, yeah, and there are the letters and the attempts of Dr. Ian Fingland uh, and his colleague to section me, and they did section me uh, in the late part of 2014, yeah, because I am trying to reveal what they do to their patients, yeah. <laughs> And this building is part of the PPP scams uh, and the PPPs mean that uh, you pay for the services and the maintenance and that's why you can hear people up on the roof banging away because the building will not last more than 20 years. Okay, the other posters are even more damning. Hello. So there are the directors and secretaries at Abraxa. There is John Anthony Chilcott and there is Sir Malcolm Leslie Rifkind. There is the Iraq inquiry, which has now been convened 
None of this came out in the inquiry, even although Gordon Bowden, Peter Ayer and I have published it all over the free world for uh, almost uh, five to six years now. Yeah. Abraxa Limited is run by six directors. Directory and secretarial details are extracted from annual returns submitted to Companies House. The latest annual return for Abraxa Limited was filed for the period up to 31-12-2008. Visit the Documents tab to download the latest annual return. So there's Burness, the laundering company, out of Edinburgh, LLP, Mr Andrew Martin Shaw, Mr Christopher Anthony Alwyn Patrick Eugster, Mr Christopher Powell Wilkins, Mr George Richard John Wadia, Mr John Campbell Rafferty, the Right Honourable Sir John Anthony Chilcott, Burness Solicitors, Mr. Michael, yeah, that's Law Enforcement Scotland, Burness Solicitors, yeah, Burness LLP. So you've got a laundering company and you've got a Ponzi shelf all built in the governmental scam. Yeah, this is the Westminster government. There is the mugshot for Malcolm Rifkind, who is also a mobster at G4S and Aberdeen Asset Management. He's a huge fraud. Yeah, he represents the Westminster government. Yeah, but all of this lot received all of this information. That's Nicola Sturgeon and Alex Salmond, right through their regime since 2010, when he was elected with a massive majority, which could have freed Scotland. But they fiddle about and pretend that there are bigger issues on the agenda. Nothing gets seen to except the holes in the road. Yeah. All of this has been reported to John Lamont, MSP, who's my local representative. He does nothing about it. He's refused me a meeting since 2010. Okay, there are the other directors, Mr. Michael John Lavers, Miss Margaret Elliott is the secretary, and that may be the Margaret Elliott that was in my class at the school, and are linked to Roosevelt, yet yeah, through the ownership of the Springwood Estates and the selling of uh, bulbs in Amsterdam and the Dutch mafias that were the Pilgrim Fathers, that's FDR's family that sailed as Delanoy on the Mayflower, yeah, and that is Delaney's donkey in all of the jokes about Jesus and the war dead. Yeah, it does not come more evil. So Sir Malcolm Leslie Rifkin starts there and ends there, that's the blue arrow, and he overlocks uh, interlocks with Sir John Anthony Chilcott at the time that the Iraq war was declared. And below there we have Timothy Spicer uh, on the board of this company Yeah, at that same time and he is the mercenary army leader that runs the uh, land grabs in Africa uh, and that is totally lawless. Yeah, that is the World Wildlife Fund scams and all of the land grabs all across Sub-Saharan Africa which are totally violent. Yeah, that's why he's a mercenary army leader and is infamous in that sector for decades. Also published by Ayer and Bowden and myself. Okay, I'm going to stop there once I've shown you how they try and silence the innocents. And that's on the third page of this. Tonight I meet activists in Edinburgh for the first time. Yeah, they've got a trivial issue at the bottom there. My colleagues live in those caravans protesting about how the, uh, how the government here has asset stripped the ownership of the land around the building. It's absolutely trivial compared to every one of those issues I've talked about already. There are everything I've reported to the Kelso police station who forcibly arrested me in a civil case chucked me in jail overnight uh, and that has become me being exiled from my region because that was the option, the only option that the uh, sheriff gave me, yeah, sorry, the procurator fiscal gave me was to leave the region otherwise we keep you in jail until we have time to have another hearing, okay? So do you see why they want me silenced and jailed? Yeah, both governments, north and south of the border, and all over Europe, I have reported the crimes of the people, uh, uh, crimes against the people, which are the Gazprom projects and the massive 
uh, deployment of the Eurozone and the stealing of all of the sovereignty of all of the countries that are now in the EU. Yeah. <laughs> That's why Britain has always been out of it and sitting on the fence. Okay, it's a member, but it's retained its own currency. They're cleverer than most of the people in Europe. Yeah, and they're more ruthless in the criminal sector. Okay, so that's Michael Moore, Jed Sheriff's Kelso Cops, complicit now. And this is me making my peaceful protests. Yeah, in the Kelso police station and the ballistic little blonde throwing me out. There is Michael Moore, the legal firm, the links of my divorce solicitors that were Melrose and Porteous to the local mafia, the Freemasonic cabal, the links to Prime Ministers, Lords, MPs, George Soros, JP Morgan, the Westminster Foundation for Democracy Limited and all of the Ponzi schemes that they run. Michael Moore was immediately booted out of the cabinet because he refused to meet me like John Lamont, MSP. Yeah? That is a huge breach of the UK constitution and he has nothing on Hansard uh, through all of his time in government, which is also a massive breach of the constitution. Showing me the door, that's the policewoman chucking me out. There's Melrose and Porteous. There is McCall, Mr. Alexander James McCall, who lives in Monaco, yeah, and runs that company, which was prepared to defend me in my divorce case against Miss Valerie Jane Lees, who was nay Hancock's and is in the Chipping Norton set. Her brother is an OBE and together the assets strip the kids that are doing dental degrees and then the assets strip the people using a thing called CPD, Continuing Professional Development, that become dentists and have to buy the right to work through their crooked enterprise. Okay? There are other people on that board that interlock to the legal firm that was Melrose and Porteous. That is Mr. Andrew Douglas Holm, Mr. Andrew Keith Rayner, yeah, Mr. Alexander James McCall of Monaco, and wait for it, the Right Honourable Sir Archibald Gavin Hamilton. So this weekend, I have revealed that the Stammering King was the major mason, the Grand Master of the Lodge in Scotland, England, Ireland and Wales, when immediately before we went to war. Yeah, and that is in complicity with all of Europe's Freemasons, all of which use the swastika as their icon, yet through that very, very sensitive period. And you can guess what happened in World War I. It was much simpler then. No one could read and write even. Yeah, it's absolutely horrendous. Uh, and it's coming out. And tonight I tell the citizens of Edinburgh that story. None of the media will take it on. Yeah. <laughs> And you can see the fast cars making loads of noise now that I've got the camera out right opposite the massive constitutional monarchy fraud, okay? We could have a blessedly peaceful uh, and solvent world if they were just to start telling the truth. Yeah, I'm going to show you that icon again. It is the biggest joke in world history. Yeah, and it is the biggest cause of death because it encompasses the Christian cross, the swastika, all in the same horrendous and vicious gesture. Okay, so there is that icon that is Hitler's swastika, it is Don Quixote's uh, windmill wheels, and it is for the Rotary Club and all of the world's capitalists, the uh, blades on the windmill, yeah, and it is the rotating windmill. Yeah, that's the Rotary Club for everybody that are on the chambers of commerce all over the world. Yeah, and in the tiny little village that I'm living in this week, we have a chamber of commerce too, and it's quite stunning, because that is the Morton lineage, the Lords Morton, yeah, of this region. Yeah, can you see the swastika likeness and the St. Andrews Christian Jesus never lived icon for the biggest abbey? and that becomes Scotland's freedom, the joke about Alex Salmond and Nicola Sturgeon being anything other than mobsters in the world-owning lineages that have created havoc for greed. 
since the Piso family wrote the Bible in Naples and Vesuvius erupted on the home. I'm going to stop there now with the parlour maid joke right in your eyes. Yeah, and that is the pretender yeah, to the English treason joke. Yeah, and the person that revealed that, that was the kidnapping and holding to ransom. The kidnapping and holding to ransom of King James I of Scotland, yeah, out of the region where Archbishop O'Brien has been allowed to be the B. Arian joke that Monty Pythons laugh at all of the time. Gonna stop there? Do you get it? It is totally evil, yeah? Totally capitalist and leads to all of the demonization of all of those other peace-loving countries, yeah? And it has got to be stopped. Bye-bye.